So I found Mark over here in the G Tech booth, and I had I haven't actually looked at G Tech in a while. I'll be honest. I mean, uh, I didn't know what they had, so I come over here and he showed me a couple of super cool oh, things. Do you need this? What do you got, Mark? Oh. So there we go. We have our well, it, the, the real cool new thing is our Evolution series. Okay. Which is three of the four new products we launched on Monday. Okay. This is the the backbone of this, of this new series, this new family, is the G Drive EV. Very cool. It's Very a cool. Uh, one terabyte, 7200 RPM. Okay. Does 136 megabytes per second. Over USB 3. USB 3, right there. But yeah. the cool part is this, which is SATA. SATA. I don't even hey. know where I'm going. Hey. SATA. SATA. All right. So. SATA, which allows us to plug it into the dock. And here you see the G dock yeah, with two EV modules in it. Very the cool. dock connects on Thunderbolt. <laughs> So you get all the, the flexibility and advantages that Thunderbolt offers yeah. in terms of that, that big 800 megabyte per second pipe, right. as well as the ability to daisy chain. So I can, at my DIT station, like right over here. Like right there behind me. See? Behind us. Yeah, there. Let's say my workflow calls for doing four copies uh -huh. at once to okay. get out to four different places. Well, yeah. I take two of the docks. Make two of the docks. Daisy chain them together. Daisy chain them together. And use something like uh, uh, Shopwood Pro yeah, to make four copies around. at once and send them out where they need there to go. You go. There you go, you're set. Now, here, here's the thing that drove me nuts. Uh, okay, so, so we see the two drives down here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, that are in there. So, so, so we can run them at individual drives. Individual drives. You can raid them together. Mm -hmm. But here's the really cool thing. Why, why don't you tell them if the drives aren't, are not in the enclosure? So the drives are in the enclosure, they're also standalone drives. USB 3 again. So if I want to connect to a legacy system, like a Mac Pro workstation, no Thunderbolt. Yeah. That's a problem, right? Not a problem for us because they can, you can connect on USB 3 and even if you stripe them together with the RAID, the RAID still shows up because you created the software. The RAID still shows up even if they're not in the enclosure. If you connect both of them to a computer, they still show up as RAIDed. That's actually pretty cool. That is. And the other cool thing is, it's all, is, is scalability. Okay. You can scale on both performance and capacity. Awesome. So awesome. again, the, the EV does 136 megabytes per second. Yeah. Let's say I need more. Yeah. We all need more, right? Because we're we all, all need 4K. More. In fact, we're all going to be shooting 8K by the time you see this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is all going to be obsolete by the time you see this. I know. By tonight. <laughs> it will have all changed by tonight. So. So, our, the third of the series Ooh. is our G Drive EV Plus. Wait, I'm going to do so a far, wait, whoa, oh, ooh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. We need we comparison. Really we need comparison. Nice. Wait, look, look at the comparison it's, there. It's, this is it's the, uh, taller. Yeah, it's, it's taller, thicker. Oh, uh -huh. and, and what's actually kind of cool, he's showing it off now. Look, I'm going to come over here to the dock. They actually both fit in the same dock. You don't have to get two separate docks, one for the thin one, one for the thick one. There's actually a double door here, so you can use both of them in one dock. We don't have to buy two docks. Exactly. Very and cool. this gives you 250 megabytes per second. 250 megabytes per second in a single drive. Mm -hmm. In a yeah. single drive. Very cool. So now I need... So today I'm shooting... Oh, wait, but wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. So today I'm shooting... So now I have my dock at my DIT station yeah. that I keep on set. Okay. I have my dock at my post bay. Yeah. All I need to do, project by project, is choose the modules that are appropriate for that project. Okay. You know, today I'm shooting the HDSLR. Right. EV is fine. Right. Next week I'm shooting 5K Red. So I get the EV pluses. There you go. So I get that 250 megabytes per second. The week after that, I'm shooting RE RAW. So I take EV pluses in pairs and stripe them together in RAID 0, get 500 megabytes per second over a Thunderbolt, and, and keep them traveling together in that pair and get that nice, fast transfer rate for that raw footage. Pretty cool. I mean, I literally had no idea. I walked back here, I'm like, what do you got? He goes, and he starts describing, and they've actually got these, you know, pretty cool little product. The cool little dock back here that can handle both sides. Most I like sizes. that. It's like, oh, you got to get one dock for this one and one dock for that one, so we're going to sell you two docks. No, you made one dock. Yeah. That's actually pretty slick. Absolutely. Nice surprise back here, guys. So, uh, oh, and you can run these in a raid without even having the dock. Over USB 3? Over USB 3. Super cool. Hey, thanks, Mark. My pleasure. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Walter.